Welcome to another episode of Caribbean Discoveries and today we are in Kai Falls well the rest of the world know it as Kaito Falls but the guy told us to call it Kai Falls because Kaito is kind of redundant so we are here with our tour guide Mr. Max that's Mr. Max he'll be our tour guide for the rest of this trip As you can see the group that are with us today and we are here with Evergreen Adventure Tours it's supposed to be the best tours around when it comes to Kaicho Falls and they have a lot of other packages Kaicho Kaicho see or Kai Falls to be exact <laughs> it is natural it is called the sedimentary rock right the compact conglomerate sedimentary rock you can see that the sandstone they have been cemented together with the mm -hmm. sediments. And this rock formation is approximately 2.2 billion years old, Precambrian in age, and it is a, also a clear sign that Kaicho was once underwater. Because the only place you can find this is in the river in the ocean floor. Uh, now, do you know that you're standing on the gold and the diamond? Oh. Uh, please don't keep your eyes on the ground. Uh, remember, I already told you that the only thing you're taking are pictures. So yeah. if at any time you come across to any by chance, please leave it all alone. Or, or if you got to pick it, pick it up, be sure to hand that. it over to me because you are in the national park. No, but it helps to dissolve that insect and then eventually it will push out those tentacles and suck in what's being stuck to it. And that is how it feeds. So this is one of the reasons you don't need to use insect repellent, bug sprays and those oh. stuff. So what's the, the name? What's the name of it again? Sanju. 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 Uh, Drusura chytrensis. And they don't grow nowhere else from one year, you This plant is called the giant tank bromeliad, alright? And it is the second largest bromeliad in the world. It grows up to 12 to 15 feet tall or even more. And the scientific name for this plant is Brockchinia micranta, meaning tank, alright? Tank? And it's a Latin word meaning tank. And why they call it the tank bromeliad is because it holds two to three gallons of water in its tips, mm -hmm. upturned leaves. And it also houses the golden frog, animal glossus BBI, that spends its entire life cycle in it. All right? Uh, this plant being the largest, Chalancia being the smallest, besides the cabbage head bromeliad, the tiger bromeliad, the dusty bromeliad, and so on. We have about 200 species of bromeliad drum here. The pineapple that we eat, mm -hmm. it is also related to this. So it is a very large family. Oh yeah, I see it. Where is it? Where is it? Now, these rocks that you see over here on my right, they're all the remains of the, the guest house that was once here, that was built in the year 1930s. And this is where the 39th batch British Guyana Boy Scouts were camping. Alright? We were here in the year 1932, and the second visit was in the year 1937. And the viewing point that we're going to is where they used to go out and view the waterfall that is why they have named it as Boy Scouts View. The best time to see them is at the early morning or late in the afternoon. So people, we are finally here. Kai Falls. It's Awesome. Wow. Um, I was what? Uh, wait, wait, guys. I was looking at the documentary about these birds. They are the only ones that go to my house. Yeah. Nothing else except those creatures. Those, are those birds can go behind that wall. And they know when and what hour to go. Yeah. Nobody has to get it. This forest that we're walking through is called yeah. the primary forest, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Or the nice. cloud forest. Yeah. So uh -huh. this is the type of vegetation that you find at higher elevations like where we are, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, when you look overhead, you can see that there are a lot of lianas, a lot of epiphytes, a lot of hemi epiphytes, a lot of moss growing on every tree. It's because mm -hmm. of the 
the moisture or the, 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 the mist that's being produced by the waterfall that keeps the vegetation cool. Uh -huh. And they all depend on the rain to remain evergreen. Yeah. And these plants that you see here, they're adapted to growing in this type of weather condition. All right? Mm -hmm. uh, but the reason why these trees are not getting taller is because of the soil and also the foundation. Because yeah. the soil is on top of the sedimentary rock and there isn't enough dirt for the roots to penetrate through for these trees to get taller. Yes. Uh, because you can see here, you can see that the most of the roots they've been spread out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And they also depend on their own decaying area to get their nutrients. Because as you can see here, the, the soil is sandy. And, and it's porous and there isn't enough uh, and, and water there, retention. Right? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it's not fertile enough to provide the plants with the nutrients they need. Yeah. And that clearing over there is called the forest gap, all right? And that is what allows the sunlight to penetrate to oh, what we call understory, so that the, the, the baby plants or the seedlings, the mm -hmm. saplings or whatever they be, can get their energy through a process called oh, photosynthesis oh, yes. and continues the, the cycle. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. right. Oh. Have you guys ever heard about a rubber tree? Yes. Yeah. Rubber. All right. Yeah. No. Yeah. The reason why they call it a rubber tree is because the, the roots they're flexible, mm -hmm. right? All right, and they use the roots to manufacture furniture. Right? Mm -hmm. Weave it with another MTFP called a muk, uh, sorry, a nibi or a mamri. Those furniture that you that you that you saw in the Ivor Center is being made out of the upper roots. All right? The other name, do they call it balata also? Oh no no no, no, no balata is no balata is yeah. So this is a root. It so, is a root. So yeah. this the plant is up there. <coughs> and this is oh. the root. So this, this and when it, it, it dries, gets energy from up there, <coughs> and the roots here collecting the, the nutrients, right? So you say it's also called tarzan vine. Mm -hmm. Also called it as tarzan vine. Tarzan vine. Known as tarzan vine. No, this Liana is, is a water conductor, right? <laughs> no. Call is a capadula, all right? Capadula, capadula. So when you're in the jungle, or when you got lost in the jungle, where there is no water for you to drink, all you do is look for this vine. And you cut it twice, and you get the water to drink. The reason why you're cutting it is to make the air hose so that the water can rush out, and you get to drink. All right? It is something like a coconut water, jungle survival. Ah, uh, not only that, they also use the bush water. <laughs> now, they also boil the bark and drink it as a tea. Oh, okay. So it's, it's good for your bark. This one, this tree here is called rainbow boot because there's always a rainbow standing in God.
so people we are finally here at the next viewing point for Kaicho Falls as you can see it's an experience you have to come to see for yourself you can't just look at the true videos you have to be here to experience the awesomeness of the falls so here we are with Evergreen Evergreen, Evergreen Adventures. Adventures. Evergreen Adventures. This is our, our tour guide link for this Kaichu Falls trip. And here to tell us a little bit about Evergreen Adventures is Mr. Tristan. Yeah, so what I can basically say we have to offer, we try to showcase what the other has to offer more or less. And we also do a lot of tours. We do simple Kaichu tours, we do combination tours, Kaichu and oranges, we do Kaichu Bagnar as well. We also own and operate the Bagnar Island Resort. This is the yes, we have to 50 minutes away from Basco, of which we can, we have hotel accommodation, you can do such as kayaking, swimming, you name it, and that's up to you, yeah. And we also do conferences there, we do retreats, we do getaways, we do wedding ceremonies, and also for the Kaicho Oni, it's usually a two-hour day tour, it usually can be done at half day, you'll be provided with snacks, you usually get condiments and water and the other beverages, all our tours are guys from start to end. And for the Kaicho and Arju, it's a combination day tour we have. You're spending two hours there likewise, two hours again, it's a 9 o'clock check-in, 10 o'clock departure, around 5, 5, 30 we'll be back. So we provide you a lunch for that too. And I hear telling one of the young ladies about finding bowl up on this area. Oh yeah, <laughs> well um, the Fatari area here is a very wealthy when it comes to the uh, mineral deposits here. It's very good for coarse gold, nuggets, um, diamonds in the rough and so on. It's the highest and purest quality that we have here to offer. Wow. But this is the Amarillo Reserve, so you wouldn't find much mining directly to spot here. But for the other 1500 square miles around, you would have some other external mining being done, okay, whether okay. by sea, by land. Yeah. Okay. We'll have gravel and then land dressing. And could you like get a boat to go up to the falls? Yes, we have a five day uh, overland tour that we would do. It would be boat um, with uh, by transportation by road. You'll have some mini hike of which you'll come up to the Oh My God mountain. And then when you return from the top here with the cabin, you'll say thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so that's what we have. And we also have all our tools and all the guys that we have. And also so we do external packages such as the Arparama, Sarama, um, Paranambu. We also do three Guyanas, we do Suriname getaways. You name it, you can do it our way. Whatever you need to go, we can sort that for you and we can have it, you know, never cut. We have any other special requirements you need, we can cater and cut them for that. Okay. Especially if you need us to pick you up directly from one most of these spots like for instance the store. We pick you up from the airport, but if you like, we can take you to pick you up whether you live in a town or wherever you are. Okay, okay. We also do charging services for the aircraft, so. Okay, that's what we do. Yeah. regular flights to Lethem and um, also to Suriname, too. Alright. We also do some international to Trinidad and Barbados. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> well, it was nice being here. It's a pleasure. And I can't wait to go across the, the, the resort. Trust me, I want to check our grammar for the canopy walkway. The longest. Yeah, All right, yeah. thank you. Definitely. <laughs> okay. We've come to the end of the next episode of Caribbean Discoveries. Kai Falls. So until the next time, our next episode, Caribbean Discoveries. Peace out.